great crowd of people followed Jesus, including women who beat their breasts and lamented over him. Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me. Weep for yourselves and for your children. For if they do this when the wood is green, what will happen when it is dry? And the reflection for the eighth station comes from Samia Khoury, um, a Catholic woman, a resident of Jerusalem. Uh, she was the president of the YWCA at the time that this was written. She was also the personal friend of the parish associate at the Seattle Presbyterian Church when I served there. Um, they, they connected with her when they were here five years ago. She writes, I feel distressed because the weeping has not stopped, and the women of Jerusalem, whether Jewish, Christian, or Muslim, have had their share of weeping. For me, as a Palestinian Christian, the weeping still goes on, because the suffering and dispossession has not stopped. So I feel very sad about how right Jesus was, even after 2,000 years. These women were not just crying for him, they were crying for themselves and their children and their grandchildren. She says, I am not bitter because I feel my faith has helped me and so many of us be able to survive. It has sustained us during these difficult times. We believe in a God of love and justice. And if we truly believe that, eventually we will overcome. This is why it does not help if you are bitter. In fact, it gives you more hope if you are not bitter and to keep going. Keep working and doing what is right. And you believe eventually that justice and peace will prevail. When you have been through the crucifixion and all the suffering of Holy Week, then it is climaxed by the resurrection. This alone gives you hope that no suffering will continue for eternity, and there is bound to be a resurrection and an end to weeping. And she invites you at this spot to pray for women everywhere, especially those who weep, and especially for the women of Jerusalem today. 